Welcome Aquarius to your chakra reading for July. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay friends, let's see what's going on with you in your chakras. First coming out is third eye chakra saying that I have the intuition, um, really wanting to use that gut feeling. You have that gut feeling and that intuition spark in. And so make sure that you're really taking, you know, real control on that and taking power moves on that as well. So think about power moves going on in this reading, guys. So let's get over here. We're talking about determination. There's a lot of determination going on and talking about the new vitality that is just rushing through. Once you take these steps towards the over determination, and I mean real, like grab it by the horns over here, um, you will really truly see what is going on within the situation and the new vitality will begin really giving you this fresh new start within the situation. Um, we have the Emerald Tablet Activation. Uh, this is the Cosmic or uh, Ordering, Divine Alchemy, and Conscious manifest and Manifesting. The Conscious Manifesting is a very important piece to this whole, pu uh, this whole puzzle, really, because it is talking about you knowing that you have this gut feeling and the intuition is bugging you to death, right? So, <laughs> because you know that there's something coming, right? So you really want to manifest on that and really take uh, control over this situation. Your law and attraction manifesting card is by segment intenting, I can expand my time. So there could be something here that has something to do with time. So is there enough time in the day? Can I find enough time within my life to actually get this done? Why does it feel like it's at a standstill? Is it going, you know, um, is it coming quick enough? Anything that has to do with time. So as you become efficient with your segment intending, you will expand your usable time by being clear about what you want during each important segment of your day you will harness the law of attraction to do its work and it will require far less time for you to accomplish much much more so you have to right you're over here in the clear thinking so you definitely want this right because this is going to actually expand time see the reason most time is going around is because you're stressing out looking at the clock every five minutes, right? So you have to think, how much time do we really have? Is time really usable or is it just a concept within our mind and the way that our internal clocks work? But the problem is, is that we're always looking at the clock and we have a million things to do. It feels like we can't get things done. Within the universe, there really is no time. Time is an earth-based thing. There's no true time. That's why the perfect timing of the divine is the perfect timing. It's not 100% time-based because there is no real time. Time is what we make it and how we make it. The only way that we measure time is by the sun, right? Morning to night. But if you think about the way that the universe thinks about time, time is, doesn't exist. So if you expand your time through law and attraction in the way that you're using it wisely and allowing it to flow and just doing what you need to do, then you're expanding that through metaphysics. Mm, I know, it's complicating. <laughs> yep. Some of you will get that 100 and some will be like, what the? Yep, I know, I, I'm there with you. For those of you who say, that, oh, what the? <clears throat> For the great fortune. Why is it the great fortune? Because there's a journey. On the journey through the time, I know, right? Journey through time. It's not a sign like science fiction, but it's not, right? Because actually through the journey that what you're trying to do, you will have great fortune through what you are doing. And this is what you're doing anyways. Think about it. What are you doing anyways? You're taking a journey. Your soul's on a journey through a human body. The only thing that's time there is the time of your lifespan. Human body don't last forever, but your soul does because of time and space. Now, I know this is really complicating and it's kind of weird, but I'm telling you right now, it's all weird because of this card. <laughs> this card makes it weird, okay? That's how it all got weird. It's like, how did this get weird? It got weird because of this card, because of the cosmic ordering, right? Because there's a cosmic order throughout our lives. When we allow time to do what time needs to do, this is why going through the flow, this is what going with the flow ends up going through. Through the determination, everything just flows together. So when you're doing that, then the cosmic has this way of making a divine order. And that's where that perfect timing comes through. 
So when you're doing that, you're connecting to a manifesting of a certain time through the journey. And it says you have great fortune. So all you have to do is just be in the knowing and use your intuition and your gut feeling to say, this is what it's going to do because the more I put into something, the more it, I will receive through the situation. Maybe my readings are the only ones that get complicating sometimes. Okay, I'm not trying to confuse you. <laughs> but that is exactly what it's saying. And it's because of this emerald temple, uh, this emerald tablet. The emerald tablet is all about timing. So when you make in so when you are intending on expanding the time, the time then comes through. Right? Or the harvest. There it is there. Yeah. Because you have this harvest and this rebirth, but the rebirth is also birthing of new to allow everything to harvest on its own time in the way that it's going to get to the goals of what you really truly want. Right? And it brings out this more hopeful new vitality within yourself, allowing the chakras to really go so that way you can actually have more control of the situation. So this actually puts you more in control of a situation than the situation allowing it to be controlled over you. Now, usually the situation is more controlled over you because of the thinking. Of the thinking that it will be this way, it could go that way. If you're making it too time-based, right, and you need it this way, it usually doesn't work exactly like that, right, depending on what you're looking for. Obviously, within this reading, this is a more time-based reading. This isn't something you know and I know is not going to come overnight because it says you still have a journey. You're on this journey, and you're journeying towards this great uh, fortune and, yeah, future. And that's really what it is. So in the present now, you're really what you're doing is you're activating your chakras to put yourself onto a flow so that you can get exactly where you need to be within the next few months, weeks. Maybe days. Depends on the situation. But whatever it is with the king of coins, there's prosperity in that you know will bring in the prosperities and something that you can actually hold tight to. And not only are you going to hold tight to um, the way you're thinking and doing intentions, but you're also going to hold tight to that vitality, which is coming through it as you're manifesting through the situation. I just keep thinking father time over here. Um, Two of Wands over here, and this makes more decisions. And the more that you're going to intend your your time, it's going to allow more gates to open and for you allowed to walk down that path to better decisions and better things coming at you. But it's, yeah, it's all about the way it's all flowing. And it does. It brings in the Ace of Cups. It really does bring things flowing towards you because of the way now you're expending time. I think that just the problem is, is we wake up in the morning, right? No matter what, we're like residual people. We wake up in the morning, we do whatever we do, and it's the same thing over and over. But then we look at the clock and we're like, oh shit, it's time to go to work. We get to work, we look at the clock, oh shit, it's time to, you know, it's time to make this phone call. Oh no, now it's lunchtime. You see what I'm saying? So you put yourself on such a time base already throughout the day. But when it comes to this, it's saying, yeah, but I want you to do this so that way you can expand the time a little bit more. By, it says you will expand your usable time by being clear about what you what you want during each important segment of the day. You will harness the law of attraction as to do its work. So you're you're allowing, like I said before, the universe to do the work. You put out the intention, and you continue to keep being determined to feed the intention, right? Because things are not going to just drop through the ceiling. We've talked about this right into your lap. You keep feeding it, but then it just does its own thing, right? So that way, now the time that you're looking for literally comes to you. If you sit there and say, I don't have time to go to the gym, but you don't give a time period for that, then hell no, you're never going to have time for the gym. But if you gave 20 minutes after work on your way home to go to the gym or something like that, right? Now you made it to the gym. And when time continues to keep going, it won't feel like it's doing anything except for now you've expended your time. And it won't feel like something that is extras. The intention just ends up flowing. 
And that's the way that this is going as well. I guess that's the best way to, to say that because with each thing that we add into our life, it adds a new journey and it adds time to that. And then next thing you know, it's just natural. It's natural, guys. That's the way it is. But if you think of it as this is overextending my time, then it's never going to happen. Or I can't do this or I can't do that. Really? You can't? Well, because there's not enough time in the day. Really? Have you really looked at the day? See, because most people are so funny. You know? They have that one day off, but they're doing all these other things. But sometimes we have to be proactive to be able to do other things. So visualize abundance in all fronts. So visualize. That's a great way. Thank you. That is a great way of manifesting. Visualize the segment of adding that to the day. Wow. And then therefore it comes. Whether it's a job, whatever it is you're doing. Hmm. And that's a great way of seeing it. Because it says, great spiritual power that everything you have visualized eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthier, positive, and filled with blessings, and that is what you experience. Or in this case, just take it through the time. This is what you want, but I don't have time. Raise, right? Now you're going to get, wow. Holy crap. Some of you are getting a raise or some kind of promotion. I got three cards, so. This one says, congratulations, an increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. Take what resonates. Face your financial fears. When you're honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, there can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness, and you'll realize that you, in fact, have nothing to fear, and that every successful person has struggled with release these self-doubts. So take whichever ones those are. Okay, and that will help you. And however it is in expanding time. Okay. Maybe it's expanding time to get to your financial freedoms. Maybe you need another job and you're a little fearful that you can't find that time. However. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.